Hello everyone and welcome to my first miniature painting video and what I've got for you today is Leong Kai, the wandering Shaolin monk from Infinity the game. I managed to get my hands on an exclusive sculpt that was released around about the same time as Operation Calderstorm and I ended up painting one for a friend who got his sculpt then and with that one I went with a very similar theme to the box art. So with uh, this one now, I wanted something similar, but still different. So what I'm thinking is to just reverse the orange and the blue theme. So all the orange bits uh, go with the blue paint, and then all the blue parts I go with uh, an orange. Sort of a, a Goku vibe. Alrighty then, and with that in mind, let's get cracking. So I've gone ahead and cleaned off all the mold lines and all the unwanted bits and pieces. I've used a black undercoat because it helps with making nice crisp borders. I've kept the model and the base separate for now as it is easier for me to paint those hard to reach areas and once I've reached a point where I'm comfortable I'll stick them all together. Radio. To start, I'm going to paint most of his clothing orange. For the base coat, I'm going to use Blazing Orange, and then I'm going to highlight that with Troll Slayer Orange. And finally, I will add some white to that for the final highlights. The thing is, orange doesn't cover black very well, and in my younger days, I ended up putting something silly, like 10 coats, and even then, it didn't look very good. So I'm going to start with the white base and a coat instead. The orange came out quite nice. I got some good definition in the orange by building up my layers. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Awesome, and onwards to the next step. So for the blue, I'm going to do something quite simple. I'm just going to use enchanted blue and then progressively add white for building up my layers. Now adding white to the mix for the highlights. So as you can see, using enchanted blue and white, it is looking pretty good. For the tiger hooks, I've decided to go with a green blade. The green that I will be using is scaly green, which is a dark bluish green, and then progressively adding white to highlight the, the blade. And interestingly though, uh, tie hooks normally come in pairs and are used together for maximum shenanigans. If you'd like to see some cool tiger hook action, I would highly recommend giving Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon a watch. It was made in 2000 and it is a masterpiece of action cinema. Alright, so the footage for the tiger hook isn't that great have a big head and a lot of hair and it sort of got in the way but trust me it's done anyhow moving on to the statue 
I started with a Kimri Brown as my base and then I will use uh, Deheb Stone to highlight that and lastly I will add white to Deheb Stone for my final highlights. <laughs> I didn't quite get the highlighting bit of the stone once again my hair was in the way but as you can see the stone is looking pretty good quite happy with how it came out so I've reached a point where I'm comfortable sticking them together so I'm gonna go ahead and do that sweet I think Liang Kai is starting to look pretty shiny we're almost there Moving on to the two sashes, I wanted to go with the red. And to do that, I'm going to start with Scarab Red as my base. And then I will move to Mephisto Red um, as my midtones. And finally, Blood Red as my highlights. <laughs> The red is now done and it is looking quite subtle. I quite like how it looks. Alrighty, on to the skin portion, which is pretty much his face and his hands. I'm going to go ahead and use a mixture of golden yellow, dwarf flesh and a touch of bestial brown as my base. And then I'm going to build up the layers using the mixture of golden yellow and dwarf flesh and finally adding some white to that mix just to get the, the top top highlights of the skin. <laughs> Now with the skin done, I will now move on to the next step. Now on to the black and the grey, I used Dawn Stone to do all the edging and the highlighting on the parts that I wanted black grey, like his hair, his greaves, his shoulder and his hand. And now with that grey done, I have finished painting the main part of the mini. Now moving back to the base, I used sand on top because, you know, it's dirt cheap. Anyways, I followed this up by painting the sand black and then dry brushing a grey over the black. For the snow part, I used one part bicarbonate of soda, one part wood glue, and one part white paint, and then apply liberally. I like this recipe because for me it looks very close to the real deal. <laughs> Voila! Young Kai, the wandering Shaolin monk. Oh.
Alrighty, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, be sure to ask me in the comment section below. I have my social media links in the description if you would like to see more of my work. And with that, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you on the flip side.